Slanekarvits, I am Corbus Brusulugenikos and welcome again to the Nemeton. Today I'm gonna do a little review, but but I wanna say a couple of things first. Thing number one is that I'm thinking very very seriously to make a new channel focused on entertainment, basically, in which I will upload the reaction videos, the reviews about music, books, fiction books, um, films, etc. And leave this channel just for um, history, ancient cultures, my uh, Celtic Iberian reconstructionist polytheism, witchcraft, things of that nature, and the other channel would be for entertainment. In this channel, the only things that I would, I would keep for reviews and stuff like that is, you know, um, books on spirituality and uh, things like that. The other thing that I want to say is that I'm having serious doubts with my uh, with my readjustment of my pagan name. Basically, I realized that my name, how it was originally, Corvus Brucio, was not Asturian. I thought that some, in some regions of Asturias you could finish words that are usually in Asturian finishing with U, that you could finish them with O and it was still Assyrian, but apparently not. I wanted a connection with my grandfather on my mother's side, who was Assyrian, and unknowingly he influenced my spiritual path a lot. The problem is that I feel the name forced. Maybe I'm too used to the original one, so I ask you, what, what do you think? Is it better Brucio because it sounds better? Is it better Brucio because it gives me a connection with my grandpa and that part of my ancestry? It doesn't matter. Should I change my name completely because it's absurd in any way? Tell me. Give your opinions. Your opinions matter because this is my public pagan name. Also be prepared because after this video I will upload as soon as possible the older videos that I told in which I have like more hair, more bed and stuff and when I'm done with that I now have my new laptop and I can apparently edit again so I will try to catch up with my series with the Way series and all the stuff so yeah, let's get started with the Compendium Maleficarum, the Witch's Compendium. This book is a book written by an Italian priest in the year of our Lord 1608. This book basically discusses topics and themes on uh, witchcraft and demonology and it addresses basically the witches Sabbath, um, Devil's Pact, uh, what powers the witches have, etc. and it follows a structure that is completely lacking of any logic or scientific method of any kind. I know, I know it's the past, but there are things that it's hard for me to conceive that weren't thought even for that time. This priest, who is by the way uh, Francesco Maria Guazzo, he wrote this manual. Seriously, it's a list of nonsense in every way. Things are completely crazy and out of any logical mind, even for the believers. And basically, 
I don't understand why they were so afraid of witches. According to this guy, witches barely had powers, barely could do anything but glamorize themselves into thinking they've done something they haven't done. Also, if God allows, if God allows these witches can sometimes do that and that's all. We didn't have powers apparently, according to this guy. It's all the devil's deceit and I don't understand then why they hanged us. But yeah, it's very, very dense. It's very hard to read. It's a very good book to understand the mindset of the uh, religious authorities that performed those witch trials and stuff. But it's very hard to read and you can scratch ideas and things for your craft if you're interested, but not so many. So it's not, it's, there, there's no literality that you can get from this book because it's, it's completely insane, believe me. And basically it follows the structure of addressing a topic in which he exposes what is real, what it's not, what witches can do, what devils can do, etc. Then he follows with examples that they are supposed to enlighten that he, he is in possession of truth about that topic, which in many cases, I don't understand this guy because in many cases, the examples are actually contradictory to what he is stating. Yeah, buddy, uh, whatever. It took me a long time to finish the book because he goes chapter by chapter writing this nonsense that you have to simply read and try to be <laughs> sympathetic. You can't because he's an asshole too. A totalitarian in his thoughts, he even dismissed lots of other religious folks that are of his same profession, that are priests, are demonologists, are angelologists, and yet he decides that they're incorrect because he is in possession of truth. He's always insulting witches and heretics, which I understand, but on the other hand, it's still annoying. But it's a good book to get things scratch things uh, from it as ideas for your craft and it's absolutely interesting and necessary for understanding the mindset of these religious idiots that basically killed thousands of people in their delusion. It's interesting but just so so hard to follow after you've read some several chapters. So yeah, um, as a source of information on historical witchcraft, I will give it a six. If it was for the entertainment value, it would be a two. It is useful, it is kind of necessary, that's why it's not a five out of ten, but it's not super useful, you can take anything literal from the book. Uh, it is very inaccurate in many of the matters that he addresses and basically it's in interesting but there will be better books, I'm sure. Even though I've been told already that the Malus Magnificarum is even worse and I will have to read it someday, but there will be better books. And yeah guys, that's all for today. I will be uploading videos as fast as I can because now I have to do like 1000 things and I can't be 100% focused on editing and stuff, but I will try my best. And thanks for watching. Tell me what you think in the comments down below about the book or about whatever. Like if you like the video, don't dislike if not, that's unnecessary. Subscribe for more reviews on books and material regarding spirituality, religion, paganism, witchcraft, and so share this video in your social media if you think it can be of interest to your people. Follow me, my social media will be in the description box down below. Made it a way to watch over you all and bye.